It's been a rough work day The bounce is busting your ass All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine Life can get you down But you can take all the lids Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine Cannot fizz Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, oh, beer and sunshine Yeah, beer and sunshine Team Chicken <laughs> What's up, Beer and Sunshine friends? Mothers, hide your daughters. Tommy T is back. We're back. I'm back. I'm back. You know, I was on a sabbatical last weekend. Uh, I had to go to the Andes Mountains so that I could collect myself and, and my thoughts. And, uh, well, make nobody a, else wanted to collect you. I had so. to apologize to the universe for, for last week, yes. the last my last show. But uh, yeah. today we have a great show for you, an awesome show. He's starting already. Too much. Too much chicken sometimes. Too much you. chicken. <clears throat> We've got some great guests. We awesome do. guests. We have these fellas here. This is Jimmy from Competitive Graphics and Design who did these wonderful... Bear and Sunshine? Uh, shirts. He's not a plastic okay. surgeon. He makes these shirts. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make these. He made this. <laughs> yes. And this is James Bailey from Gulf Water Brewing. Yay! <laughs> The, the foundation of this show is beer. Yeah. Beer and sunshine, all about uh, beer in the beer, craft beer in the Tampa Bay area. We got beer for breweries, and, or however the shirt reads here, beer for breweries and sunshine for Florida. But it says beer and sunshine. For now, and more specifically, we're all about the the craft beer scene here in the Tampa Bay. And uh, James down there is is he's the roots of that yes. uh, of that that this craft beer movement. He is a home brewer, uh, so we're excited to talk to him today. Yes. And, Yes, thank you. Of course, we, we, yeah, we, we can't do this t-shirt, these cool t-shirts, without, without guys like Jimmy yes. here, so yeah. this is going to be a good show. So how come mine has bumps in them and yours doesn't? It does. Watch. Oh, 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 he's taking them all. Yeah. Oh, look out. All right, but, uh, Tommy, so what did, you, um, what did you get up to, get up we, to this weekend? Uh, this past weekend? Yes. Uh, Probably no good, you know. <laughs> drank some beer, drank some beer, did a lot, did some motorcycle riding, uh, oh, nice. had, had a good time, did That's some tinkering nice. in the garage, that, that kind of thing. Okay. <clears throat> um, um, we also um, did the. Um, That's right. The uh, Temple Terrace. Temple Terrace. We were in Temple Terrace. Craft beer festival. That was pretty we awesome. Did, we got to really meet fun. some really nice people. I mean, we met um, Tanya from. Um, Big Tom? Let's not sell her short. Tanya Lawrence. Yes, she's amazing. Yeah, she's you guys, beautiful. you got to check her out on Facebook. Just do a search for Tanya Lawrence, T-A-N-Y-A, -A, uh, Lawrence, L-A-L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E. Good for uh, you. She's like the craft beer queen <laughs> of Florida. Yeah, she's. Um, so we have, we have a good friend in uh, North Carolina, guy up there who hopefully very soon is going to be Paul Durham. Paul Durham, Paul's a good friend of mine. He's going to be uh, doing some stuff for Beer and Sunshine up there in North Carolina very nice. soon, hopefully. And uh, up there in North Carolina, in Charlotte, he's the guy that referred to her as the queen of be craft beer in Florida. So she's known all over the place. She's got thousands of followers. Uh, oh, she's on Instagram as well. And, yeah. every, you know, she's always out drinking a beer, taking a picture and posting it, and everybody's liking it. And chicken, honest to God, <laughs> he's driving me crazy already. Well, that's his job, right? That's his, his job. job is to and drive speaking his of friends, of course, I want to thank David Epps, who's my good friend, who, of course, does our opening for us. He does the, the song, does the Gary Sunshine song. And yep. Greg, who made our beautiful tap panels with which out we'd be sucking beer out of the wall, which looks pretty right. stupid. But, I'm okay with that. But I'm okay with that. So, anyway. Didn't get to see you much on the weekend except from when we were at Temple yes. Terrace. But we do actually have um, we have a um, a video actually. A little. <laughs> Come on, stuttering. She's stuttering, Stanley. Sorry, What's happening? That's my see, job. I'm I the one who stuttered. I can see him under the corner of my eye. Um, producer, do we have a little bit of that Temple Terrace? So let's watch the video, folks. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay. No, we can do that. <laughs> We got a really fun game tonight too. We're gonna, yeah, I know. But should before, we tell them the game or well, gonna, before, afterwards? Before the Temple Terrace, because first? I'm getting I'm getting excited. Okay. Do you know I'm excited? While it's, while it's fresh in our memories. Do you know I'm excited? Because Beer Vats and Be Gone have come out with another product. Another product. Another They're product. They're unbelievable. The makers of Mug and the makers of Hose yeah. and the makers of. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, Shower Buddy? Shower Buddy, Shower yes. Buddy, yeah. Now has a bottle opener. So if the producer wants to run that commercial... What is a bottle opener? I've uh, never heard of that. Let's we roll can the find commercial. Out. Just enjoyed a dip in the pool, and now you want to open a bottle of beer? 
No, Billy. No, Billy, don't do it. Oh, Billy, now look what you've done to your teeth. Well, Billy, from the makers of Dog Bowl, Mug, and Hose, our friends from Beer Vats and Begone now bring you Bottle Opener. That's right, Billy. With this new ingenious device, all you need to do is place it underneath the bottle top, and you can easily access your favorite beverage. That's nice and refreshing, isn't it? Great job, Billy. Available at all pet stores, gas stations, homeless shelters, and fine dining restaurants. No brewers were harmed in the making of this commercial. <laughs> what an awesome product! That is ingenious! That's ingenious! I don't know if the audience members could see that, but it is like, it is so Next funny. time, next time I see Billy, I'm gonna say, missing something? Missing something. All he wants for Christmas is his two front teeth. Yeah, well, he <laughs> looks like he needs more than two. Well, I, you know, I have no idea where Beer Vats and Be Gone come up with these. Oh, they're geniuses. They're geniuses. They're, they're, they're those people are... You know are, what they are? They're, they're... Touch me again, and we'll have a serious problem. <laughs> He they're listen. actually they're actually the uh, the beer world's yeah, answer to KTEL. Remember KTEL from the yeah, 70s sure. and the 80s? That's they right. like they had records, they had exercise yeah, equipment, yeah. they had like everything. How, how you dare you? <laughs> you had something. I'm a married it. man. You're a married woman. Okay. So anyway, why don't you tell us a little bit about? Yeah, our, let's uh, talk about game. this drinking game. Yeah. So this is okay. Devil's Poker, and it's a pretty simple game. Really fun. There are four sixes in a deck of cards. You remove one, so there are three left. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Do you know what six, six, seven is? The neighbor of the beast. Oh, the neighbor of the beast, <laughs> right, yes, of course. <laughs> so this is a crazy simple game. So one person's a devil. I'm gonna be the devil for starters. Nice. And the devil is going to deal you a card. This is like the song where he went down to Georgia looking for devil a soul Devil went down to, to Georgia? Okay. Yeah. He had a little banjo war or whatever. Okay. Awesome. All right, check so, so the devil will, will deal out two cards, one for you and one for him. Whoever right? has the better hand wins? That, that's right. Whoever has the better hand wins. And if you pull a six, guess what? You got to drink your entire beer, okay. the whole thing. All right, we can do that. Which I'm okay with. All right. Well, all right. But uh, all right, so let's play. You know, remember how this goes. So we this shows a drinking game. We teach you a new drinking game every show, and uh, you can you can choose your teams. You got Team Tommy, Team Christina, Team Jimmy, Team James, team and chicken. Team Chicken. Team Chicken. Well, Although he doesn't chicken actually chicken. play, but you know, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, if if we drink, you drink. And so you pick a team, and if your guy drinks or your gal, then All that's right. you. All right, here we go. One card for you, one card for me. Let's see what you got. Show the devil your cards. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah, you drink. Just one drink, like it's, a sip. But look, you know, show, show, look, seriously. I'm like, I'm sitting good with the queen, and he frigging gets a king. Your shit doesn't stink, does it? Not today. No? Nope. Not today. <laughs> so now you take the cards. And you are I the play devil. With Jimmy. That's right. All right. I'm the devil. We only get one card? Just one card. One That's card. it. That's all you off. need. <laughs> and there are, there are other rules. There are other, other okay, things that you can do with this, do but uh, we're leaving it simple. Now you have to drink. Right, devil so, poker. So we move these aside, right? Until we run out of. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Awesome. Right. Cheers. 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 So now you have to play with James and we watch. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to. Play with James. Well, you, uh, well, you, they just met too. Hey, well, play whatever. You know. I know it's your birthday, but twice on All Tuesdays, right. buddy. Oh! oh wait, what's the draw? What's the draw? What? We do it again? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I guess you're gonna do it again. I guess we maybe you both hey, drink. Is it war? Put down three. Do Put three down. That's three sips, right? And then one. And we'll Fine. Do it. Hey, I, they're <laughs> modifying oh. the rules, folks. Oh, 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 okay. oh, oh. Put it down. Put it down. Oh. Oh. I mean, that's not three sips. I'm just gonna finish it. <laughs> right. This is awesome. I'm, you guys, I'm, are, you I'm guys are like rules. making up rules. I'm rules. making up rules. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So we just kind of like I need a refill. That's kind of right like back. President Trump, is it not? Can I say that? Yes, you can. <laughs> He's got the ace. <laughs> Uh-oh, Darth Vader's here now. I hope there's no... Uh, oh, wait, I need to I deal, find right? your lack of faith disturbing. Right, we're, <laughs> we're safe, we're yes. safe. I just realized uh, I need to me again. in that bunch, so that we're safe. That is an awesome game. So, we were talking about Temple Terrace earlier before we started our game. And those of you at home that want to play oh, seriously, fun, you can, like, play with us, grab a deck and play can with yourselves. <laughs> However you want to do it, it's <laughs> up to you, <laughs> really. It is the devil's poker. It is the devil's poker. We yeah. do have the um, the video now for uh, Temple Terrace, so if our yeah. producer wants to check roll that, that we can check that out too. There's no um, there's no audio with it. We can talk over it as they uh, as they run it. Yes, we. Can. 
And you know, I was really surprised. Where's our booth? I don't see our booth. Our booth is, is in there somewhere. But there was like a lot of. There we are. Oh, look at there that. There was like a lot of people. Yeah. I thought for sure that if it rained, that there wouldn't be a lot of people. But there was actually. No, it was pretty busy the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was busy. I mean, they were turning people away, so they sold 1,500. She can pour. Uh, like a mo pre sold 1,500 tickets. Right. Right? And then when the people started showing up, they sold the rest of them. And then I guess, I would imagine, because they're selling out where there's alcohol there, right. they probably had some sort of a limit. Because, yeah. you know, capacity and all that, that park yeah. can only hold so many people. Right. Uh, but they started turning and, people away, right? And, yeah, yeah, liquor laws. No, we had a great time. We met um, the guys from, what is the, the meadery or. The one, the fort. The meadery, meadery, I think, down in uh, Fort Myers. Fort Myers, yeah. yeah. They had like um, guys. cider yeah. and uh, they were really nice. <laughs> yeah, we want to get them. Good. We want to get them on. We're gonna, we're gonna get down there. If and, anybody's down in the Fort Myers area, yeah. and uh, you know, you have a favorite brewery there, let us know. Yeah. Message we'll, us on Facebook or, or uh, through Twitter. You can uh, uh, message us through our YouTube account. You know, get at us uh, any way you can. Yep. And let us know who your favorites are down in that area. We'll go down there. We're gonna we're gonna get down there and uh, shake hands, kiss babies, meet some people, get to know those breweries, <laughs> and uh, we'll do a show with these guys from the, from the meadery. Great you made, guys. You made me laugh. You made beer come out of my nose again. I don't know how you oh, do well, it. You know, but I'm you talented. <laughs> You are talented. Chicken, what are Why? you doing? Oh, well. All right, then. If that's how it's going to be, chicken. Uh, okay. I can Fine. See, you know, I can see a fight between you and him. Fisticuffs. Oh. This tonight. is just like the family guy. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like, like the family, family guy. guy. I think that'll be funny. Yeah, so are we going to do Peter another? Griffin. We going to do another round? Um, we can know, let's, 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 no, let's save it for the, uh, let's save it for the next one. Let's, let's save uh, it for the next one. Let's get to know these fine sure. gentlemen here, you know. All right, so this is Jimmy Gilliland. 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 Yes. Gilliland. Okay. Gilliland. Good Scottish name. That's a lot of elves. It's Scottish? They yeah. love their elves in, in, uh, in Scotland. Oh, all right, then. Yep. Great. Let's so why did you not wear a, why did you not wear a kilt? Oh uh, well, I was I was thinking about it, but I figured my legs would be open, and, and you know I thought we were gonna be on a couch, and if I had the uh, the kilt, then you wouldn't be able to see it. But we now well, we've got this awesome it. table here. This yeah, next sharp, next time, next time yes, I'm wearing a kilt. If you wore a kilt on the couch with your legs like that, we would would have seen regimental. Yes, regimental. And for those yes. of you tuning in for the first time, in case you haven't noticed, Christine is a bit of a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> you got problems upstairs. Yeah. In here. Yes. In here. <laughs> Drink to that. Uh, that doesn't deserve applause. That really doesn't. Oh, why? Why not? So we met Jimmy through um, Corey. Corey. Yep, Cottrell. Because we were looking for somebody to do some T-shirts for us. So you, he introduced us to Jimmy. Jimmy did these beautiful T-shirts. Yes. But actually, I actually have see, the baboon I think I've got, room. Yeah, I've got my. Um, Oh, go don't fall room. down. There you go, baboon oh, room. Can you see it? And I did not sponsor yeah. or make his website. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Corey, Corey has a show. We've been on it a couple of times. Um, Goals and Gratitude, Coffee on the Dock. He's on Facebook. He's got he's got a great show, and he's a musician. So uh, he's he's a local Super around here and, and well known. Good really guy, yes, great guy, really good is. friend of ours. He is. He's got. He's got. Well, and so Jimmy, exactly. how did you meet Corey? How did you guys hook up and start? It, how did you actually, start doing shirts for him? It, it goes back a, a while. Um, I, I didn't know Corey a long time ago. He used to play a lot with uh, when was Ben and Corey back in the day. Um, I didn't actually meet Corey until he moved back from Arizona after moving away, but um, he, um, me and him kind of linked up because I play guitar, he's a musician, and I ran sound, so whenever I would, uh, I'd go um, out to his gigs, I'd help him out, get his sound, you know, sound, sound good and everything yeah. like that, and, and of course he appreciated it, and then uh, the shot of Jaeger or two, you know, made, made things a little bit better, but, um, you know, it, it moved down the line, and um, he started the, the Baboon Room thing, and uh, we, we he moved on to he had had a logo and he and I was like you're gonna get busted for copyright so we we actually redesigned the whole thing got it all vectorized so we can scale it up to any size and um, w moved on to do print some shirts for him and, vectorized uh, vector graphics ve vector graphics these guys yes. use we yes want some t-shirts made or something you give them good graphics good good images yeah vector billboard. quality you right on a billboard that's right. Yeah, yeah. you blow those up at the right? Yeah. Well, well, that that was like whenever you guys approached us, and you had you guys didn't have a very good uh, uh, file at all, so I was able to vectorize that for you as well. So, I, and and I, I, I shot you guys a copy of that, and you guys were able to use that for anything. Yeah. So, in the do, you, do you are your customers all just local? I, I try to try to keep it real local. I'm trying to um, I'm very community based, and um, I try to help out the underdogs. You know, people yeah. people who um, who really nice. need need some shirts and and just um, don't have any way.
way they you know sometimes they go to the the, the local local yeah. uh, co companies and I just can't find the right price to be able to do what they need to do to get get their brands recognized. Yeah. Okay. I try so, to help them out. Right, we we got to go to break. I yeah. think here. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna go to break. So we'll be when right we come back. back. We're gonna ask After Jimmy some more messages. questions. Yeah, you're a good-looking guy. Woo. Oh, me. Yes. Oh, me. Okay. You. Yes. All right. Yeah, kind of like, um, what was that character, Mike Myers character, Dr. Evil or something? Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Dr. Evil. One million yes. dollars. Well, so, speaking of evil, time to play another <laughs> round of the Devil's Poker. Oh, Are you starting fun. again? Yeah, let's do it. We'll awesome. start again here. All right. All right, then. The Devil deals one. Devil deals himself. Oh. Turn him. Oh, the devil drinks. Nice. <laughs> Delicious. All right, so now I'm the devil. Yes. This is awesome. You are possessed. <laughs> All right, you ready? Oh, damn it. Right. Drink up, drink up. Ooh, delicious beer. Mm. Delicious beer. Who doesn't love beer? Everybody loves beer Everybody and loves sunshine. Beer. If you love beer and sunshine, you can get a cool beer and sunshine t-shirt, right? Yes. Here, t-shirt. <laughs> Right? This is the modern logo. You've seen yes. the other one, just says Beer and Sunshine, right? So that's the classic logo, this is the modern logo. And where can they get those Beer shirts? Beerandsunshinestore.com. You can go there, or you can go to Facebook, search for Beer and Sunshine on Facebook. There's a button there that will take you to our shop. And um, if they find us at any uh, festival, local events and festivals? Like tomorrow in Clearwater, yeah. downtown Clearwater tomorrow, folks. You got another ace. You got another ace. Yeah, I got a four. Jeez. Yeah, this dude's got two aces in a row. So Look up his screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's two devil, in a row. Anything. Um, so yeah, I just drink. can't trust these screen printing guys. So yeah. does he? Does he play? <laughs> so does he play you, you now? Does he deal to you? Well, he can. I've had to come back here, the other way because, because if we were around. last time, and yeah, that that probably screwed it up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably played around. Or we could bring table, the cards so back he would this have way, to right? Play to you at one point because then he yeah. would never get to be the devil. Oh, that's true. I'm all right if I'm not the devil. 
Okay. <laughs> so if y'all want to be that guy. <clears throat> okay. James right. doesn't want to be the devil. I don't want to be the devil. All right. Then stay with me, Stout Catholic. So, Jimmy. Yes. When did you decide that you wanted to uh, start screen printing t-shirts? Well, do you want the condensed version or the long <laughs> version? <laughs> Speak away. About? Okay, so um, <laughs> so we're, we're going to go blast from the past back. Um, I used to live in Illinois. That's where I was born and raised. Um, and my senior year, we uh, we had had to do a uh, essay and, and a job shadow kind of thing for a company that we were a uh, industry that we wanted to be in of course I was always I was always in art so um, and I always wanted to be a gra graphic artist and being in a small community like that there's not very many um, graphic artists in the area my art teacher actually turned me on to a, a screen printing shop and I was like well there's actually screen there's there's graphic artists there and I'm like okay well, well go check it out I was so fascinated by the process of screen printing that I fell in love with it then and um, I moved down here, went to college, got a, got a degree in graphic arts. Um, I worked for several companies in the area for, for 10 years. And um, I was like, well, well you know, I need, the only thing separating me from working for myself or working for somebody else is having the equipment. Right. So I just started buying equipment and little by little, you know, with, with the support of my great friends, my family, um, got it off the ground. Um, and. When it, when it came time to take it full time, I was nervous. And um, this last, uh, about a year and a half now, has been um, been an adventure. Good. And, um, but, but I mean, you're, like, we've got shirts done by you. Yeah. Um, like I said, Corey, and I know there's lots of other places mm -hmm. that have had them. They're also hanging up at Marker 48. Marker 48. Yeah, Marker 48. Yeah, I think we go up there, yeah. Yes. So no, yeah. like, it's, it's amazing, <clears throat> and it's good that you're actually doing something that you love and you're working oh, for yourself. Yeah, and, and that, that's that's the big thing about it is you could be you could be rich and be working full time and be so miserable or you can be like broke and happy working for yourself. See? Money which doesn't, is like yeah. you, you Money doesn't buy happiness. No, it doesn't. It doesn't cuz like the, whenever you uh, like like the, the advert says it's like or the proverb says <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's drink up. Um, <laughs> like the proverb says, right? If you if you work it or if you you do what you love, you never work a day in your exactly. life. Exactly. Yes. Okay. The truth. That's yeah. the so. truth. And we actually have some video that I took when I was there when you were printing some and if the producer wants Ooh. to run that, we actually have some video that shows Printing process. Please, producer, okay. play it. Please, producer. <laughs> Please. <laughs> there we well, go. The, the oh, press nice. set up there with uh, the beer and sunshine. I see. Uh, okay. You got three colors. Yeah, go you got ahead. white, the orange, and the, the gold as well. And what 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 is the name of this process? This, this is actually called uh, direct screen printing. Um, you actually use um, emulsion-based screens. And you um, you will actually burn an image in, into it using a negative or a positive uh, in a, a light light photosensitive process to get the stencil down. Mm -hmm. um, and each color has its own spot plate and gets actually direct screen printed right onto the shirt using those separate colors. So um, it all all begins on on the uh, on the computer. Of course, you get the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Do chicken. not interrupt yes. our guests. I don't know how many times. Why won't you I die, chicken? Yes. Die. <laughs> chicken. Die. <laughs> Long story short, we, you take it from the computer, you make all the plate. The, of course, all the does plates, not seem to you, affect him. You print them off on films, you do a, a photo process to get each color up on the, on the machine, get all the registrations just right so each color matches up with the other color, and then it's time to print. And you actually, you go from one, one plate into the other. Right per color and one well I have finally... um, some still photos that I took as well I have a picture of the printing press and then our next photo because I was asking you about the process when we went through it you actually have to put glue on a board so that the t-shirt doesn't right. that, 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 fall off. Yeah, that, that, that actually makes the, uh, the, the shirt stay still basically because if you were to print that uh, ink onto the shirt, it would actually mm -hmm. lift the fabric off and stick to the screen. Right. So that actually is just, it's a its a pressure sensitive adhesive, so it's not like it's going to stick to the shirt. It just keeps mm -hmm. that shirt Because you don't want that still. moving because, right. because it, when you're it doing was, layers, if it, yeah. if it was to move, then the next color wouldn't be able to register exactly. with the first color. So yeah. Can you make beer with that equipment? Unfortunately not. No, sir, no, you but can. He can I, I well. probably wouldn't get any work done if <laughs> I can, could. He can drink beer while he's using that equipment. That I know, is true. chicken is like so mad. Okay, I know. Chicken. So mad. chicken knows the other pictures too. And, um, he's trying I guess, to intimidate us. Don't let him intimidate you. We have you. also a picture of uh, the beer and sunshine stencils. That's when we were there. So right. that's like the 
the darker orange and then the lighter orange and then I think there's like a yellow Right, and yeah, you just do it's, one. Yep. And so uh, you got the white, which is the underbase. You've got the the golden yellow, and then you've got the orange. So you may, you actually have all three colors here. I don't and I like, have. <laughs> but, Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> there we go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Ah, yes. See? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Chi cheese. <laughs> Boobs are those. I think I'm sleeping tomorrow. We call those chi cheese. Those yeah. are chi cheese. <laughs> those chi cheese. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so hey, let's let's talk to let's talk to James here a little yes. bit. I, 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 I feel like we're neglecting him a little yeah, bit. I mean, Jimmy invited. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The round of applause yes. 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 So anyway, I know that we I know we have James here, and he's from the Gulf Water Brewing Company. Yes. And James, I, I felt chicken? I felt so bad <laughs> because you agreed to come here today, and I know what today is, and I know we have guests. But I have cupcakes. <laughs> Happy birthday to it's James. James' birthday today. It so is my 23rd birthday, 23rd. and I am working out here. Yes, yes. So, I am. So, okay, we have to do it. You ready? Would anyone One, like a cupcake? Oh. Two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you and many more. Oh, Cheers to that. Thank you so much. There oh. you go. Nice. Oh. What are you, about 45, 46? Um, I'm approaching 52. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. You look yeah. good for 52. 22 going on 48. Mm. Yeah. All I ever Marker 48? Mark, ooh, ooh. Nice. Hey. I guess the number's stuck in our head. Okay, <laughs> so plug. we've sang happy birthday to James. We've got cupcakes. If the uh, guests want to have some cupcakes, we do have to take yes. a break, but we'll come back and we'll be able to talk to James about what it is that he does. Darn these breaks. Cupcakes. Come on back. Come and get them. You don't want to show everyone. Ah! <laughs> Man. And we're back. Sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. 
keep, so your, James, keep your hands yourself. James is here for his birthday. I know he's going out later, but he was really nice to come in here and, and talk with us tonight. Pre-game. It's called yeah, pre-game. Pre of course. Yeah. What's so, better? James, why did you and your friends decide to start a brewery? Well, it was ultimately just while we were all at college, I mean, myself is a business major with entrepreneurship as my focus. Um, my other, at least, it wasn't a roommate, but he was an alumni from River Ridge High School, and he was working at Orlando Brewing, and we just kind of decided that we're just constantly drinking all this, you know, craft beer that costs so much money. Um, so why not just look into the actual cost of it and try to replicate it ourselves on kind of a mass scale? And then as time went on, we're trying to look into actually commercializing it because it's going so well. Mm -hmm. So what did you bring here? And I think we have an opener and some small glasses. Yes, I got a few right here. Yeah. Actually. Mm -hmm. That ingenious, that ingenious uh, nice. invention there. Oh. This is, this is, <laughs> the what, this is what opener. Beer and Sunshine is all yes. about. It's yes. about drinking Tasting free beer. beer. So what do you want to go with first? We got Manatee's Milk. We have Barracuda's Bite. Um, so actually Manatee's Milk is a milk stout. Um, as well as Barracuda's Bite is our IPA. We have Okeechobee's Runoff, which is a blonde ale, followed by our original OG Honeycomb right, Lager. Up, if, if, that's a, if that's a blonde ale, that is a that is a that is a dye job gone wrong. Oh, Turn well. your hair green. <laughs> Everything gone right, buddy. That's yeah, all I can say. Let's try that Let's try one that first. One. Let's yeah, try that. the green stuff. Yeah, well, because, I mean, it's paying a little bit of homage to that natural disaster we all experience here. So, uh, you know, here, at least in Florida, we're familiar with what happened with the phosphorus coming out of the Okeechobee and getting everything green. Or if you're ah. from the, you know, the Pacific Coast, we can call it Fukushima's Delight, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, so let's see. Who wants first All of our Japanese fans are cringing right now. Yeah. Are they cringing? No, we don't have any Japanese fans. I was just joking. <laughs> if we do, and I don't know about it, message us. Let us know. <laughs> Tomo arigato. That's right. It's your robot. <laughs> and I promise it is not absent. You, Ooh, that's that's good. not a good promise to make. You should that's promise cool. it is absence. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of gave that's them a little crazy. bit. Uh, you get the Oki Cho, you run off. I, I do, I do get medicine. the runoff. This thing is a little chunky. Well, you've tasted it, so let's... Yeah, so... It's not no. bad. It's got a good flavor. So we made this originally, and actually, um, is Superbeard in the house? He's probably in the back somewhere. He had a chance to try it. Um, it was made with actually malt extract at the time, and that kind of made it a little too dark. So we renamed that our um, Spring Break Dirty Blonde and then kind of made an all-grain version that was a little lighter and threw in um, a little bit of natural food coloring to it so we could actually and have that green. What's, what's the name of your your your, your So the actual brewery itself is Gulfwater Brewing Company. Gulfwater. Yeah, so we kind of do that as homage to what we would ultimately like to do is use desalinated Gulfwater because, you know, if ocean levels are rising, what better way to fix it than desalinate right. it and turn it into well, beer? You know, there's yeah. pe people who say we have a water problem and then there are people that say we have a salt problem. You know, there's no water shortage in the world. It's just, you know, you got to desalinate the water. Right. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense to me. It resonates with me. But mm -hmm. uh, so, and, but technically now you're you're still at the at the stage of a, you're a home brewer, right? Yes, we are just a uh, home brewing operation as far as how you, we operate. What are your, what are are your you plans for the future? You think you're gonna you want to open a brewery or? Yeah, we are um, <laughs> right now in the process actually trademarking through um, Tallahassee right now to make sure we get um, our you know Gulf Water Brewing Company actually trademarked as a name. Um, cool. As far as license in the beer category, and then we're going to go from that to trademark ourselves as an actual LLC, and then try to get zoning property so we can actually be a proper legal, you know, licensed brewery and distributor. And where do you? Uh, what area are you in? Where do you? What part of the Tampa Bay do you live? So we're primarily located here in Newport Ritchie, um, nice. so not far from where we're actually sitting right here. Um, we homebrew um, primarily at Tanglewood. So if you know uh, the neighborhood there. Well, I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying, you oh, know, if you live in this Wait. area, are you going to open a brewery in this so area? So as far as so the brewery is actually concerned, we would love to get to Main Street, Newport Ritchie. Okay, um, cool. Just because of all the foot traffic that um, is kind of growing down there, the rebirth and gentrification that we're all witnessing, in, at least in the downtown area here, and all the wonderful work that Frank Starkey's doing, and then the um, Orange Lake project that's happening, the redevelopment of the Hacienda and Sims Park, and mm -hmm. there's just so much going on. We would love yeah. to be at that main and grand intersection. So Chicken, Chicken had a, a question earlier. He's like, yeah. Make sure that I ask James this He never question. shuts up, does he? I'm telling you, look, see, and because there of that, is. he's oh, back chicken's again. in. He heard and, his name. But he knows that I have some video that you sent of your, your unique filtering process. Yes, yes. Is so it an old pair of underwear? No, it's not a pair of underwear. Well, okay, so our water. producer's going to run that, and you can tell the people a little bit about your unique filtering right. system.
far <laughs> off. Yes, as far as that's that concerned, that, that individual is not here. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So I don't really know as far as like over filtering it. I guess it could get to the point as far as making it a bit more thinner consistency. Uh -huh. But I don't want to you know, talk out my ass too much. So. Sure, sure. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair no, enough. No, we don't want you talking out of your ass either. <laughs> I've right. seen that I, done. It's not pretty. No, 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 no chicken. We don't want you talking out of your ass either. <laughs> okay. Any oh, <laughs> boy. I'm telling you. So what is your company's ma main goal? What is the main goal of Gulf Brewing? Um, so as far as the, the main goal is to make it a proper commercialized entity here in what we consider like the Gulf Coast, because as far as going up towards the Crystal River area, all the way down towards south of Bradenton, we are having breweries pop up nonstop. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. so that's why we kind of gotten you know the nickname the Gulf Coast. So we want to be able to you know be integrated in this area where it truly is flourishing. Would we? I I, I think I've said this every episode, and it, I just you know this is something that just still just blows my mind every time I, I even think about it. When we started Beer and Sunshine, it was about a year ago. There's like 40 breweries. Last count we heard there's over 160, and I've heard of like five breweries going up since then that that, I've yeah. just, that we've heard about, yeah. right? Who knows how many have actually got? I mean, we could be close to 200 breweries in the Tampa Bay area. This place is is well, outrageous. Whenever, if you want a DUI and if you want to drink some beer, this is the place to come. This is great. <laughs> oh. You come for a vacation and uh, you you leave on time, probation. Every that's time, how they I like that. Go on vacation, leave on probation. Yeah, that's, it. that's better than I say. I say everyone comes here to retire to die. So I like real that talk, one a little better. Real talk. But we end, we end up going Actually, yeah, to these um, going? these festivals. And there's always like two or three new breweries yeah, that we've never even yeah. heard of. And they're like, you know, we're not open yet, but we're going to open. Yeah. So there's always all kinds now. What are we you, drinking? What are you drinking next? I didn't so, finish this slam one. Slam it, Christina. Is slam that going to be a problem for oh, you, you to finish to. your beer? No. Yeah, I'll you automatically can. get a six. So all right, here, no. Well, no. Chicken? My visitor right. told me not to drink share. as much. Can you get so her? No, can you dump this? Yes, you're going out. You're going out for your birthday dinner. Yes, even better. So you were mentioning that craft breweries are popping up all over the place. That so, they are. So how is Gulf Water Brewing going to excel over the next great craft beer? I think I just burped in the mic. Um, so Sorry. at least our philosophy that we are trying to go after is it's more or less you know, trying not to just create a beer. Like we are passionate about what we do. Like we, we take no money out of this whatsoever. Like Thank technically you. we don't really make money. And by the way, manatee's milk, everyone. Manatee's hey, milk. Oh. Yeah, milk stout. Freshly uh, Gracias, milked I mean, the peaks of uh, manatee oh, and homosassa. Um, so, that but what really makes us what we hope will excel is Chocolate. the fact that we truly want to, you know, commit to locally as well as organically source ingredients in all of our beers, uh, even down to like I said, the water that we're using. Um, so we're not only but supporting, you know, local small businesses. We're trying to help the planet as well as, you know, like I said, we're not really into it for the profit. It's more about the passion of brewing. Helping mm -hmm. the planet one beer at a time. Exactly. I like that. <laughs> yes. 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 Well, our our that actual like quote is, is drink draining the, the Gulf world. one beer at a time. That. You know what? Cheers, huh? Every <laughs> once in a while, you amaze me. So, what I do now? That, that was really nice, what you said. Oh, uh, it was. Well, He's compassionate. Okay. He has a heart. Is all right, fine. To? I'll take it. I'll take the compliment. I'll take the compliment. Yes. <laughs> Let's all have a cupcake eating contest. I'm just kidding. Let's not do that. I don't mm -hmm. want to do that. I don't want a tummy ache. No. So are we going to play another round here? Yeah, sure. All Let's right. Do it. Let's get to it. All right. And I do have one more picture that I want to show because I do have another question I want to ask you while we're on the topic. So what makes you different than every other craft brewery that's out there? Um, I guess so kind of touching on what I did mention before is they're saving the world uh, well in a way we are trying to save the world um, what they did try to instill in me at um, at least the college of business coming from UCF is <laughs> it's more about just the bottom line it's about the triple bottom line it's about people first which is what we really concern about you know supporting the local businesses and our you know what we do and then you know next is planet which is what we're trying to do is help you know mm -hmm. uh, as far as desalination of the gulf water to help with the ocean level rise and then last is profit and it's that three piece the triple bottom line and we really hope by honing in on that instead of really just you know worrying about making beer and making money it's more about helping the community and helping our planet that's nice. what we believe helps us stand out above the rest. Yeah, well, yeah. Hmm. it sounds like somebody rehearsed that. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> if beer and sunshine no, can it. help you in in any way doing that, hey. yeah, we, we want to help you. Oh. Salt in the ocean oh. is bad. Let's get rid of all it's the salt. Bad. Remove the salt. salt. No. All the world's oceans. You heard it here first, folks. No um, more salt. <laughs> yeah. No so ocean, chicken, more beer. chicken <laughs> said he wants to hey. try some of this. 
Milk stout. The devil says, turn your card. The devil says, turn my oh, card. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to beat you the five. Watch chicken beat drink. it. Oh! Ooh, Tommy has to drink. Yay! Wait for All right, then. Oh, yes, I haven't seen a six yet. That's, That's a good for. point. No, you don't want to see a six, Christina. Oh, no, girl. Girl, you don't want to see no sixes. Me second. Oh, no. Ooh. One of six is up in here. Un, deux, trois, this. Go. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like might you. as well drink the rest of yours. So are you 2-0 and o against Jimmy. you right now, Jimmy? There you go. Jimmy! Killing it. Drink, Jimmy. You lost. Drink. Oh, 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 no, you didn't. What are you saying? Gosh, my, dis my visual dyslexia. How many times oh. have you lost? All right. Again. All right. Go for it. Visual dyslexia. Right? I see everything backwards. One, two, three, four. Wait, what? Oh! oh. He's got we a drink. We have a six here, he's ladies a six. and gentlemen. He's got a drink. He's got a six. Go a six. He's got a six. Oh, no. The whole thing. Look at right. the whole thing. Half a beer. It's not really too much. Wow. Go, Jimmy. Go, 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 and then uh, I'll be the devil. Jimmy, oh, by the way, oh, James is going to be the devil for this. All right. I convert it to Satanism. By the way, Satanism. if people want you to make them t-shirts, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, you can either get a hold of me through uh, competitivegraphics.biz, or you can find us on Facebook at Facebook slash competitive graphics. And let, let them know you heard you saw him here on Beer and Sunshine. Yeah. Beer and Sunshine. Beer and sunshine. Yeah. Right. Applause! 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 We doing yeah. this? Yeah, he right. said he said he's going to be the devil for a while. I wanted to be the devil. He wants to be the devil now? You won card. It's, 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 it's his birthday. Let him be the devil right, once. Come on, he's going to be the devil one right? time. Somebody's got another six yeah. in their hand. So so you, you, you put the card down for me. All right, all right, all right. You can flip it. You say which one's like a card. You looked, you looked. No, I did not look. It's his birthday, he can cheat. I'll draw for you, all right? There you go, flip for me, Jimmy. Two, three. I got a jack, you got an ace. You got an ace. Okay. Dude, I just All right, right. look I at that. Three All right. out of the Happy four aces. Birthday to you, birthday. James. There we go. All Have right. A drink on me. Oh, we got well, technically it is. Yep. Oh, let me let me pull those two out there. Okay. All right. They're All right. Burned. They are burned. Burn cards. Actually, burn, yeah, burn, burn these as well. Mm. So, so James, burn books, James how many cards. how many uh, uh, different beers have you guys brewed so far? Oh boy. Um, well, actually, I'll probably say close to a dozen we've actually brewed. Um, as far as actually having them fine-tuned, um, as far as like what you're seeing right here, we have probably about seven that have actually been refined that we constantly have either on tap at our home brew or we try to at least bottle and give out to either ourselves or family members on premise. Um, and I mean, it's really... What, just... what, what's your personal favorite so far in the beers you brew? Personal favorite? Um, I'm a big fan of that man as he's milk, actually, by the way. Yeah, so it pretty, is nice and good. smooth. Delicious. Yes, because I mean, I'm think, not a big stout guy. I think chicken guy. liked it, too. Was it, was it good? Yeah, chicken. Thumbs up for the chicken. Thumbs up um, for the chicken. chicken. Yeah. But the original one that we made, actually, the honeycomb, that is my favorite. So... <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. And on and on that note, <laughs> unfortunately, we have to go to yeah, break. We have to break. Again, I we'll have back to us soon. Come up real fast, yeah. you guys, because we'll be it back. does to us. We'll be back. We need a two-hour show. Maybe three hours.
Christina, I am very sad. I'm very why, sad. Why are you sad? Because Tommy? of the last 15 minutes of the show. We're 12, 12 minutes, technically, I guess, because of commercials, yeah. you know. It's been sad. a good show. It's been an awesome show. Oh my show. God, it is. Right. Yeah. And I have to pee like a racehorse. Uh -oh. <laughs> Chicken, get me a bucket. Just <laughs> pee a bucket? No. I have so, to pee. <laughs> so how is your peeing? Being an older gentleman. It just dribbles out. Just dribbles out. So do you need like a prostate that's exam? That's why I can't pee between the breaks. Because like, Chicken said he's ready to no, give you a chicken, prostate exam. No, Chicken, that's not happening. Make it no. three fingers, Chicken. <laughs> Keep your fingers to yourself. Oh, he's so creepy. So he is creepy. creepy. Why do we have him? Oh. Let's get a squirrel. What are you doing, squirrel? Kung Fu? No, that's, that's Kung Pao Chicken. Oh! oh. <laughs> I that was quick. I yes, I like that. He's a little on the Spanish Come side, on. so he's a little bit spicy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All right, let's play another round real quick, well, should we? Yeah, and also, oh, we have oh, I, want, oh, I just want to talk a little bit about what's happening. Yes, Ooh, what's yeah. happening. So, um, 81 Bay, who we we met at the, uh, yeah, the event as well. They're really yeah. great, yeah. They're having a Blood Orange Sun Viking IPA release tonight. Oh. Um, Hyperon Brewing, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Is, where, are they, where are they located? Where are those guys located? Uh, um, they're located in, on Grand Boulevard in Tampa. Okay. Hyperon Brewing is in Jacksonville, Florida. Hyperion. Hyperion? Hyperion. Hyperion. But I wanted to give them a shout out because it's their grand opening all oh, weekend. Yes. Hi, Hyperion. Yeah. Hey. St. Pete is Hi. having a street food and beer event in St. Peter, St. Petersburg uh, until 10 o'clock tonight. All right. And of course, we're going to head down to Rebel Dog like we always do. They are having Darn their right. release of I Cream of Genie. Me? Tonight? I, yeah, all through my adolescence. Yes. <laughs> and tomorrow, of course, is Barbie the, is the inaugural Downtown Clearwater Beer and Music Fest. We are going to be live with WeBeam TV tomorrow in the mobile studio. So come on nice. and check us out. Yes. Chicken is going to make an Clearwater. appearance. It's going to be a heck of an event. It There's is. like nine bands or something like yes. that. Yes, and it goes for like 12 hours, but we're only yeah. going live from 11 so. till 4. But mm -hmm. if people want to... Come down, yeah. have a few drinks, be yeah. on TV with us. Eleven to four, come yeah, come down, get on, get on, uh, get on camera. Yeah. And it's uh, downtown Clearwater. They were a guest not too long ago. The city of Clearwater is making a huge push to bring breweries mm -hmm. to the downtown Clearwater area. Right now, there's nothing there except a lot of uh, what are those uh, people called? I forget what you call them. Tom Cruise's. Related? No, I'm just kidding. Jimmy said. What? When I missed it. Derelicts. Derelicts. <laughs> Derelicts. Well, let's hope so. Let's yes. hope they're a bunch of drunks. Because when they do open a brewery downtown, they'll be, That's you know, where they'll want to be. be. Customers for days. Customers for days yeah. and days. But the I'm telling you, fun. this stuff is awesome. Oh, yeah. We, we opened up another bottle. You did open so, up yeah, another we've bottle. We've been drinking since we've been talking. So. <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, what else are we going to do while we're sitting here? But I, did, I do have to... Uh, you let people know what's hopping in. The devil's going to do you some cards, yeah. This right. is oh, our another round. honeycomb German, uh -oh. or sorry, Belgian Oh, I think that's mine. So that, mine? that no. is yours. You got a fresh glass. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my glass? Yeah, go grab right a fresh there. one, one boy, boss. Grab a freshie. So ah, this is actually here, our original one. recipe, which we've uh, refined probably more than a dozen times since. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Yes, ma'am. Listen, the only honey that I want on my chicken is like honey garlic Go sauce. Party Go foul, away. man. What Gentlemen, no spilling beer on the show. This is... God damn it, Jimmy. Give me a straw. It's a crime. <laughs> what Will is it this? make you go away? <laughs> so this what? is oh. our honeycomb Belgian ale. So mm. it's got a pound of honey for every gallon you can of beer. Take, yeah, you could really taste Are the honey. Are these Belgian hops? Um, um, it's actually the Belgian yeast that's used. Okay, I want to say I, I don't Holler like Belgian hops, hops in that. This is delicious. I know. Right? You can taste oh, the honey. This tasty, tasty. Our chicken honey comb is what we, is our pride and joy as Goldwater Brewing Company. If this I can is say great. So. Chicken is like sharing it with everybody in the audience, Ooh, which is Joey great. And Kyle, are you hear this? Love it. This yeah. is great. So these are ours. I have yes, no beer left. Them. So you better hope that the I win. Says turn them. You have a two. <laughs> I beat you by one. Oh, I'm happy to have another. All right. All right, I'm gonna kick Jimmy's butt. Well, if you draw Fantastic. a six, then you're gonna. You finish, need to draw a you're six. You're gonna finish my beer. Uh, I don't think so. Uh oh. Woo! I got a four. Oh. But you beat me, so I my have to one. drink something. What is this? Here, drink this. Where are the sixes? Are you <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there but saliva. Good for you. <laughs> Take it. All right. What right, you Jimmy. deserve. Should I shuffle mm. it here? Yeah, sure. give it a little shuffle. Give Tommy spit. One of these. Ugh. Tastes a lot of like Puerto Rican tears. Ooh, Puerto Rican tears. <laughs> all right, all right. There's some Puerto Rican tears. Oh, in there. so they will all see it. I'm not looking. Uh -oh. Somebody get a six. One, Somebody two, three, one. flip. Oh no, this oh! guy. Oh! Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Happy yeah. birthday to yeah. you. You have to chug your drink. Which one will I? All right. Take it all, oh, baby. Do both. Do both of them. Excellent. Excellent. I'm done. Yes. That was the awesome. The show is fun. The show is all about fun. It's all about drinking. Oh, okay. did I, cut? No. I did drive. Calm down, buddy. So yeah, the team James, team James <laughs> got Uber, what they deserved. Uber. Yep. Uber. Yes. Is there Uber yeah. here? Hey, by yes, the way, there is. we had some Facebook comments earlier. Thank you for those comments. Yes. You know, reach out to us on Facebook during the show. We, we want to hear what you have to say. And, reach uh, out. Yeah, reach, reach out. out. Reach out. Reach out, yeah, reach out and touch, touch someone. Faith. Touch us. Come, come say hi to us at uh, <laughs> Beer and Sunshine on Facebook anytime. Yes. Anytime. Anytime All you time. see us, yes, say hi. But yes. you guys were yeah. amazing. Yes, and they can say hi to Chicken. Chicken has his own page. I don't even know how. How do you find Chicken's yeah. page? Um, team Chicken. Team Chicken? Hashtag Team Chicken. Hashtag Team Chicken. I'm right? going to I'm, follow that. I'm definitely yes. down to make some Team Chicken t-shirts. What's going to happen? Know, it's going to happen. Got plans. We've, We've got, got some plans. Sunshine on the front. Team, team chicken, chicken on the, on the back. back. Actually, it's going to be like a circle, circle with a with, line with through. A line through. It. How about no chicken? No chicken. Yeah. Oh. Or maybe some chicken nuggets. I mean, on there, the there are Poor there chicken. are um, um, you know chicken labor laws that we you know we can't chicken just fire him. Yeah. So we have to do this properly. Yeah, we have to go through the proper channels. Right? Yeah. Our well, HR department. You know, we only keep him around because he works for Chicken Feed. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. yeah it is. But it's at least he's free range. Yeah. Well, he can get beers. Sort of. Kind sort of. of. He doesn't have a driver's license, so that's the only thing. Ooh, that's a problem. You gotta pick him up. Yeah. He he's, Ubers a lot, though. He yeah. a lot of Uber and he um, Uber. Lyft. Ooh. He's more of a Lyft chicken than an Uber chicken. Yeah. But he leaves his yeah. feathers everywhere. Yeah. Like, he's just... He's a mess. He's a mess. He really is. Oh, I'm mess. sorry. No, you're not a mess. Yeah. You're wonderful. So what are, you're beautiful. I, I, like, <laughs> you know, we, everybody loves we probably We probably only have a couple of minutes left, but before, before you know, we end up wrapping this thing up here, um, anything you guys want to tell uh, all of our viewers, all hundreds of thousands now, <laughs> millions, I mean, probably not hundreds of thousands, millions, millions, millions of, of viewers. Our millions of viewers. Take yeah. the floor, Jimmy. Oh, just, you guys got to got to hit up uh, face, Facebook, hit up Beer and Sunshine, hit up uh, competitivegraphics.com or dot biz, and. Um, if you guys need a website, even hit up James Bailey here. Um, look up uh, Integrity, Integrity Designs. Tampa. Of Tampa. There yeah, you go. that is right. me. I make Take websites and I brew beer. Oh, excellent. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. So you make websites as well? Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. actually my day job. Might as well Dude, throw plug my... yourself. Oh, I'm going to throw the plug Why in now. Why you go plug you. I am James Bailey of Integrity Designs of Tampa, and I am the owner and website designer. Um, so, yeah, I make websites. Good to know. Nice. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so he does the other kind of web design, not like Spider-Man web design, but he does actual oh, computer web design. Yeah, oh, I did destroy okay. a web this morning, so I'm a web destructor when it comes to that. Yeah, I thought he was yeah. cool. I thought he could climb walls and stuff. No, no, no. no. He can't. No. He can't climb walls. Well, yeah. maybe he can't well, climb walls. I've never seen him, him, but you know. The other Spider-Man, to me, and I've always thought this ever since I was a kid. The other Spider-Man. Well, the French I mean, guy that climbs buildings with no. No, the real Spider-Man. You know the commer the the cartoon Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Peter Parker. Yeah. Well, oh, you know what? Well, he's not Peter a real Parker. spider because real spiders spin webs from their butt. He does his webs. <laughs> My mom like that. He one. does the webs from <laughs> his wrist. Gosh. He's no comment. No. Nope. Real, real spiders throw their web from their butt. So All if right. they're going to be All correct. Right. But hey, he, he, right. he invented the technology that made that happen. He well, invented why? the technology. Why? Seriously. Maybe I'm a spider then because. Because there's a social stigma to sticking web out of your ass. I <laughs> think. <laughs> I shoot stuff out of my butt. would it not stop <laughs> right, if criminals if they business, knew that somebody business. was going to shoot yeah, from like their butt? What if you saw the side eyes of some dude just yeah, <laughs> swaying <laughs> from his ass? I'm just, I'm, yes, chicken? <laughs> no. Oh. oh that spider chicken? That was, that's no an egg. Spider that's spider an egg, chicken? not, that's, that's not, that's actually an egg. Actually, he's, 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 he's a man chicken. So you'd be a rooster then. Yeah. we can't Oh, yeah, he's a rooster. We can't call him a chicken. Well, He's a yeah. No, we're being Down sexist hill, to him. We can't right. be that. We gotta be politically <laughs> correct on this show. <laughs> All right. So anyway, tomorrow again, you and I and We Beam TV in the mobile studio right. is gonna be in clear water. Are we you guys TV. gonna TV.com that's where you can find all of our shows? You guys gonna the old show ones? Up? Watch us live on Fridays. Oh, of course you will. I'm going to know that because you're right watching now. right now. Well maybe you're gonna watch <laughs> well, I'll be there. some other time and then just so you know Jimmy Fridays said, no. eight o'clock. Jimmy said he's like he's on, he's on his way there right he's now. He's driving right now. now. <laughs> the show. Excellent. He's gonna be first in line. Yeah, he's gonna super. be there before we get there. We'll have a ticket waiting for you at the door, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's free to get in, but anyway. Well, 
And yeah, if you have a favorite brewery in the Tampa Bay area, actually anywhere in the country, Go for and you want them to have Beer and Sunshine <laughs> shirts, because they should. Yeah. Beer and Sunshine in the front, they're cool stuff in the back. Reach out to us. Let Ooh, us know. We'll, we'll, us. we'll give them a call. We'll shoot them an email. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll jump in a plane, fly there. Um, I will ride my bicycle across country if I have to to get to the, this brewery. Let's just say it's in California. I will ride my bicycle there, and we will document it the you know whole what? way. That would be a I'm cool lying. show. You can ride your bicycle to Alaska. I don't ride bicycles anywhere, and I don't like walking. I'm more of a okay. like a hover around kind of guy. No, you know what I mean? no, no. Chickens we'll get, don't we'll get fly. Do you yeah. not? Oh man! <laughs> you have to Google chickens. Let's get a squirrel. Chickens don't fly. Squirrels the enemy to the dog. Chickens and I'm a dog person, but I'll take a squirrel over a chicken yeah. any day. <laughs> a, oh, a flying true. squirrel a too. At that. A flying squirrel. Yeah. yeah. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Oh. Don't forget that there's cupcakes. cupcakes for your birthday. I know you're going out for um, for dinner for your birthday. And hey guys, you can take those with you. Biggest prank in the world. That's Chris Cornell. He's no. not dead. Oh, no. Too soon, Tommy. Too, too soon. soon. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Oh. All right. And well, the hey. show was going good <laughs> till that. Thanks spot. for watching, guys. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, we appreciate Check us out it. Next week, come see us tomorrow, Clearwater. If you saw the show Yay. tonight, come by and tell us. Thank you, audience. We love maybe, you. We'll, maybe we'll give you a T-shirt. Maybe we'll give yes. you a T-shirt. If you saw the show, you see us at Clearwater. Maybe we'll give you a shirt. Yes. Yes. Have a beer-tastic day, Thanks, guys. Everybody. Have a beer-tastic day. It's been a rough work day. The bounce is busting your ass. All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine. Life can get you down, but you can take all the lids. Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine cannot fit. So it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, oh, beer and sunshine Yeah, beer and sunshine